The children are working day in and day out as slaves. At least animals can roam around freely, but these children can't. They have no dream. We will reach Abu's house, Roman. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Virtually no country is immune to child labor, and virtually no industry is immune to child labor. They become pawns in this international economic process. We reported total revenue of more than $482 billion. It's their suffering turned into our clothes and our food and our jewelry and our chocolate. We don't know that it's being produced by forced child labor in many cases, kids that are child slaves. Those that are actually doing the burning, preparing the plantations, spraying the herbicides, which are in many cases banned in other parts of the world, doing so without protection, these workers too often are children. Companies often aren't interested in finding out what is actually happening. The problem is really enforcement. Companies like Philip Morris International, British American Tobacco, Altria Group, Reynolds American. They've set up a system where they don't have the responsibility for what happens on the farm. Are you aware that there is child trafficking on cocoa farms across Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire? These are very rare cases. When we uh, detect uh, such cases through, through our system, we uh, immediately alert the authorities. When I was in Ghana in, in December, on all the farms I visited, I found incidences of trafficked children didn't seem very rare to me.